Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. Yes, it's Monday, and it's the 4th of September. And the little kiddies are all going back to school this week. Ha 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 ha! Great. Anyway, it's the term of the C64 today, um, because the poll sort of went with Spectrum, Amiga, C64, and Amstrad, and then finally MSX. So, and there's a new poll up now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the battle between the NES and the Master System. So take part in that if you haven't already, uh, because whatever wins will be going first, and then the other console will be going shortly afterwards. That's game reviews. Uh, anyway, so this is Night and Grail. Yes. <laughs> I had to think about that because there's another game called Knights and Slimes. But it's not that one. It's Knight and Grail. And it's so far, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. So it's like a, it's like an RPG side scrolling platformer. You take the control of Mr. Knight here, and uh, you can go around and uh, dish out some medieval punishment to the badsters on the level. Um, this is actually very good. I like this a lot already. Um, so from a graphical point of view, it's um, it's very aesthetically pleasing, isn't it? Love the torches on the wall. Love the animations on that. Uh, the animations in general are very cool. I love the fact the knight's not actually racing around the screen as well. It gives it a little bit of context text for the, the sort of the weight of the armor that he's wearing. Uh, parrots flying across the screen as well is awesome. So um, I don't know much about this game actually, but. Um, I have high hopes for it. This is this is a great start already. Uh, dragon heads on the wall. That's quite cool. Nice and smooth scrolling as well. Really nice. Uh, lots of different enemy types as well. That always goes down well in a game like this. We always like enemy types that aren't all the same or recolors of their. Although you can forgive it more in the uh, in the eight bit era because well, there weren't that many palettes to choose from, but. Uh, Yes. So if you smash these glass bauble things, it unlocks different things in the dungeon. So you probably saw there, there's a green door right there. So we've got to find the right bulb. bulb. Yes, bulb. The right glass bulb to smash to open that one. There you go. Oh, and uh, yeah, try not to get hit by those things. Um, I have got infinite energy on. I didn't realise I'd put that on, but obviously I must have done at the start. I thought I'd turned all the cheats off, but... Uh, Anyway, it'll probably go in our favour because it means we can show you guys a bit more of the game than I would normally. So, as you probably tell, I'm probably dead already. Um, so, yeah, that's on, just to let you know. So I'm not, like, pulling the wool over your eyes or anything like that. So, anyway. Uh, oh, there's a there's there's something. Oh, it's a collectible. I've got a armour of water. That sounds fun. So, uh, obviously, you can pick up different armors and possibly weapons as well. And you can change them regarding your environment. So, I'm guessing all that water there can be absorbed by... Oh, here we go. Sword and armor. So, we've got iron at the moment. Let's switch that to water. And uh, I've only got iron sword at the moment. Oh, okay. So, the, uh, my armor is now blue. So, that shows that it's now water resistant. That's quite cool. I like that. Nice. So I wonder if it's uh, based on the elements then, earth, wind, fire and water perhaps, I don't know. But uh, now we're now impervious to uh, being hurt by water, not slime, but water, as the purple slime just hit me. Uh, that would have cost me some energy points. So you can see here we get gold as well, not sure what we spend gold on, or whether it's just a currency that we get uh, as in points, I don't know, but uh, it works quite well. So, graphically, it's absolutely lovely, and I uh, can't... I can't argue with anything here. The uh, graphics are lovely. The animations are smooth. Very cutesy little game. Main sprite's nice as well. Lots of various things to look at as well as you're going by. Make sure you try not to concentrate too much on those while you're playing. Otherwise, you'll end up out of energy very, very quickly. Uh, so, controls. Very nice and simple, this. Left and right. Up and down. Fire. And then you've got another button that you can use uh, to switch your armors with. It sort of puts you onto a little screen as you saw earlier on that you can change your armor and your weapon at will which is great actually because you can do it on the fly which is quite nice so that's a very well thought out mechanic as well so well done to the dev team for that it was always nice to have less to worry about uh, when it comes to key presses and i think if you press space then you can do that but if i've i'm using a playstation 
4 controller uh, for this and it's working very well. So it's, uh, this is on Vice by the way, the emulation is on Vice, WinVice, if you want to go and download that one for yourself and give this one a go. I'll put the link in the description, you can go along and uh, check it out and uh, let me know how you get on or have you already got this game? Have you completed this game? Have you? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. So I always do. Um, but yeah, very impressed with it so far. The controls are nice and um, responsive as well, which is kind of what you want in a game. You don't really want laggy controls. That's never fun. And uh, seems to be a lot of screens. I think I, I can't remember, but on the top of my head, I think reading on the uh, on the website, I believe it's about 200 screens, something like that. I can't get up there yet, so there's obviously a way to, uh, to climb up there and get that sword. I just can't do it right now. So there we are. Um... So, great controls, great graphics, and we move on to sound. Well, we get this nice little sort of riff every now and again of music, and then it stops, and then you get some sound in game as well. So it's all very nicely put together. Um, you don't get both at the same time, but you do get sort of the best of both worlds, where it will play a tune, and then you'll get sound straight after that, and uh, yeah, all of that kind of jazz. And it's all very well put together. Uh, yeah, again, I can't really fault this game. It is in it's incredibly good. Um, but you probably could do with mapping the game. Uh, that's probably my only thing I would say is an in-game map would have been good. But at the end of the day, you know, we're talking, you know, these these old systems didn't have a lot of memory to play with. So uh, actually incorporating a map as well probably would have been a bit of a task. You have to sacrifice something to do that. And um, I think, you know, and it brings back the joy of paper mapping. Or even doing it by screen shot by screenshot and gluing them all together. But that's part of the fun, isn't it, really? Give yourself some extra. Now it's only a single player game as you can probably tell um, and uh, I wouldn't say there's really any way of making it a multiplayer game unless you just take turns but again see maybe see who can get to the uh, end of the game first or whatever way you want to do it. But um, I've, so I hope you heard some of the sound then. Well, that's the purpose of me staying quiet for a sec there. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous game and really playable, which brings me neatly onto my next uh, my next bit, which is playability. Of course, it's incredibly playable, and I'm, I think if you're into sort of platformy games, uh, you're going to enjoy this one. It's not overtaxing, but there's enough there to keep you going, and uh, replay value then comes into effect because you'll want to come back and play this again and again. Oh, getting back to get a new sword. Sword of Water. Right, so I don't know if the different swords different do different sort of damage. Oh, there's a map. Sorry, I am so stupid. There's a map right there. My bad. I do um, I do retract my statement about maps because there's one right there. Just just ignore me. It's a Monday. I've <laughs> started back into the school routine to take the kids to school on Wednesday. It's been an early start, but anyway, the map is there. Extra bonus points. So yes. Um, Replay value, yeah. If you're a completionist, you, you're definitely going to want to come back and complete the game. Um, obviously, with emulation, you you can save states. I'm not sure if you can do anything from the actual um, on the actual C64. And I do believe this is a physical game as well, so um, that'd be one to look on the website for. But uh, if you can, then that'd be great because uh, you can save your progress, come back to it, and uh, carry on. You get all these little globes, well, these little sort of stones as well that give you hints and tips as to what you can do in the area, which is quite nice. Ooh, this is a colourful room. Uh, I don't know what the, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Let's lob some swords on top of it. No, it's nothing's, nothing's really happening. Golden shrine. So maybe that's where you spend gold. I don't know. I can't see any way of getting in there. Anyway. Uh, we'll leave that actually in the comments if you know what that is let me know because <laughs> I don't know apart from it saying golden shrine I have no idea what you're supposed to do there but there you go never mind um, age rating pretty much any because it's cutesy enough for the little ones and it's taxing enough for the uh, for you older generation of players and uh, there's like I said, there's lots to do and lots to see and it's a great game all in all so there we go Knight and Grail on the Commodore 64 what have I got left to do? I've got MSX to do now, and then uh, we shall move on onto our next bit, which will be NES versus Master System. I might put another review in between just to let the poll run for a week or so, and then we'll go from the results on that. So I might sling a couple of uh, random reviews in the middle of that. Anyway, hope you're enjoying this lovely weather. If you're here in the UK, it's like an actual summer's day for once, and um, 
Hope you're enjoying the weather, not getting too hot. And uh, there will be a, another review coming your way very, very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this one anyway. And thank you ever so much for tuning in. I always appreciate you guys. And um, I hope you look forward to the next one. But I will, uh, I will catch you very soon. And in the meantime, you keep it retro. And until we meet again, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.
Thank you.